Oh, they're live. Okay, shit, they're live. Alright, just a few more technical errors and then we're good to go. Both teams are now ready. Here we go with the countdown. Starting off with the knife round. Traditional knife round. Generally speaking, people would have pistols. Would not have pistols in knife round, but we do the old fashioned way. Toss your knife, buy armor, and go for knife. Beautiful knife round here as you auto a mix takes the knife round. Interesting pick as they decide to go for T side first or Inferno. Pretty confident on their part if we look at this. Here we go. First round with pistol. Quite interesting as uh, most teams generally when they win knife they will want to take T side or CT side first, play the safe, get as many rounds they can, and then finish it out on T-side, but you Ottawa makes reluctant to do that, Just make it seem like they want to take T-side first, play more the aggressive, set the tempo. Alright, here we go, first pistol round. You Ottawa opting for a full armor buy, no utility surprisingly. Looks like Yoda was going fast here with an arch push. Wisp gets one. Stuck in the corner. Fights off two more. Barley without the kill. Pretty odd here seeing how Yoda was trying for a slow push here. As they attempt for a split, Barley gets another one. Interesting. Yoda now with the B side wrap should have full control of B here. Kirk not able to delay. 2v3 retake now. See these guys work fast in one take. Spark takes one, AMG gets one. Beautiful trades on you, Ottawa side. Absolutely amazing. Now with the new loss bonus, I would expect more teams to buy here. Oh, okay. Okay, very interesting. It looks like the uh, CTs are going for a nade stack here. Let's see if that actually works. They're going for a four-man B stack. Luckily, none of the U Auto players are down there. One nade misses, takes heavy damage to their own teammates. U Auto playing very smart here, holding back for the CT pushes that they know they're on an eco. And that's pretty much the round done. One v five retake here for AMG. Not looking possible here. Get the thing. Oh, so close. Here on CT, maybe we would expect something a bit more aggressive from the CT side. Maybe get some more map control. Get some more aggression. Maybe peak second alt mid. Maybe get an early banana control. Who knows. Oh, scratch what I just said. Uh, CTs don't exactly have enough utility for that take. As they pretty much give up almost everything. Let you Ottawa just walk up on banana, take mid, halls control. Interesting. CTs don't want to take any gambles here. Trying to play sight. 
at the same time, you are always going solo for a lot of peaks. Seems like you just want to get information here rather than just shoved all together. Looks like we're waiting for a quick break as Peru here has some technical issues need to be dealt with. We'll be right back. Back looks like technical issues have been fixed here. All right, let's see. CT side economy not looking too well. I mean, they do have that max loss bonus, so they should be able to buy it anyways. I think they should force a pistol armor here and do something really aggressive, like double push halls, maybe even get an aggro mid. Well, at this point, with 3,400 per round, why wouldn't they? You Ottawa preferring to play a bit more tactical, playing a lot slower than most T teams that we usually play. Let's come on down to our final moments of the pause. It looks like technical errors should be fixed momentarily. Just bear with us. Alright, as we're back live with the round now, T size reluctant to play a 4 1 setup, aiming to give up that B side early instead, having MG play solo with that AUG here. You see how effective it really is. Spark with a single pick on Wisp, Barley with a follow up pick on OK Dilla. T's 
here should be grouping up together rather than playing split. However, they want to play it slow. They want to give up any more picks than they should. CT is doubling up. Valk with an interesting pick on with a skull and barley. Another pick on the Moonlight. That should not be happening at this stage. Vlock over peeking that should have waited for his teammate at least. Kirk with no choice but to save his weapon into the next round. With the lost bonus and this AK, I mean, it could be a pretty substantial buy. And I think here, CT's just gotta play a bit more aggressive. They're just giving too much map control to the T's. But then again, you can't give, you gotta give credit to you, Water. They're playing. Not bad, they're abusing pretty much all the rotations, singling out CT players. Can't get better than that. Alright, as we head on to the fifth round here, let's see what the CTs will do here. I think they should do a more aggressive play. They've been playing super passive, giving them a lot more picks, giving the T's a lot more map aggression than they should. Again, same thing here. CTs don't seem to be aggressing banana, just giving up control of banana for free essentially. Without having the T sides ever fight for it. Barlu with the pick on Oki Dell and Halls. As it looks to be a B push here with two guys uh, making noise on A. MG boosted with the single pick. T's seems like they're scared to push through now. But they're making the right call, pushing together. Moonlight gets picked off by Wisp through the smoke. Tucker in a 1v3 situation. Wisp get, eventually gets the 2k and wins the round. Very important round for CTs here. All right, get that one round, start the momentum, get them back in pace again. Oh, pause has been called. Grab the top mount. Tactical pause. You Ottawa's got money to spare. Pretty much, I expect them to do a full-on push here, just all together. Right, they know the CDs have been playing super passive on them, not aggressing anywhere, not taking any fight. I mean, they're pretty much giving map control for free at this point. You Ottawa doesn't really have to use utility that much to take either like back halls or halls even, and banana. Even mid, when you look at it. Let's see what they do here. Looks like they are opting for an ace split here with three down alt mid. Single molly will delay their push for a bit. They seem to be backing off. They're an early rotate from Wiss. Oh, actually, playing back arch, holding from a more passive position. Let's find one. Kirk finds one as well. There we go. Trades like on that caliber need to happen at this point. Barley with a trade. Oh, Spark with a 2k spray down. But unfortunately, it's to no avail as they get picked off one by one.
uncharacteristic here as Spark gets two pistol kills. How? That should not happen. Execute starts coming out now. Wisp gets one. Spark gets a 3k. Can he get a four? He gets a fourth. Can he get this ace? 2v1 situation now. It'd be a lot to ask from Vok here. 2v1 situation on a retake. B site's never an easy site to retake, especially if you're solo. Especially on CT. Tears here playing isolated, tradable positions though. Vok deciding not to take this site instead. Deciding to fall back and place for retake or uh, play for next round. He wants to take the Octa next round. Beautiful recovery there from Vok. Gets a 2k along with that. Not much the CTs can do here. Moto's smoked up. They got the big. AMG makes a push here. Gets one on site. Can he get another? His teammate. Bit too far to trade off if he gets picked. AMG gets picked. Wisp gets another. Beautiful. Post plant positions. Can use a bit more work on. Nonetheless, they got the win. Or the round win. Okay, Dilla. Still not making an impact on the CT side. 0 and 8 right now. Well, at this point. Give it a sec, boys. We just experienced some technical difficulties here. We'll be back shortly.
Bear with us guys as we try to get the Go TV back online for you boys. We are back with the action now. 3v3 post plant situation for U Ottawa here. Score is now 8 3 in favor of U Ottawa. Double up retake on this. Mm. Not something I would suggest. At this point, CT should just fall back at this. Save the ops, bring it to the next round. Try not to get picked at the same time. Not bad as CTs are able to at least save two ops, put one on each side, maybe put make an aggressive play, push him back. So uh, from what we were seeing before, we are uh, technical difficulties. Peru or the CTs are pretty much giving up map control almost every round, not really contesting it. Oh, see at this point, Vok taking the initiative, trying to get for an early pick will be tags him. 
Tags and Tuster down to 15 health. Barley with a crucial kill here. There we go. Wiz making an effort with that off, at least to get some sort of picks. Back to the action here, you Ottawa. Very impressive actually, as they send just one single guy A, forces a full rotation from CT side. And now they have bombsite B for free. What a, what a crucial mistake from Vok. That should not have happened. Three v three retake. They have to play together at this. They can't split up. They should be pushing together in pairs. Barley gets one important pick. Flash comes out, gets another pick. Can you get the 3k? Oh, Jeff just nails it. Takes the 3k phone. Beautiful trades from New Ottawa. Again, goes back to the same thing. Peru has got to play a bit more aggressive. Right? The, either they'll get a pick, fall back immediately, and give up con the entire map. And essentially forfeit half the map control to the T side, which you all have been abusing, by the way. Right? Pretty much most of the time they've been getting either banana halls or mid control, even lane fast without having to fight much or without having to throw a lot of utility. Right? Peru not really knowing when to rotate. Falling for a lot of fakes, one man fakes too. Technical pause or uh, tactical pause has been called here by Peru side. Let's see what they want to try here. This time, CT's taking a different perspective, at least taking a 5 for 9. They get at least two kills down, bringing it down to a 5v3 situation for Uauto here. Uauto, I got, I think, something fast. Group up, maybe, push together. Perhaps find an open pick somewhere. Most of the Peru side are all lit, so that's one. It's a high HP player as well, so this is doable, totally doable for Uauto. They decide to play it slow here, not wanting to give up any more trades than they need to. Seems like T-sides are opting to do a lane shove. Smoking Moto, Molly Big Pit, Molly Arch. Here comes the exec. They got a pick in mid. They got a pick inside. Pick in pit as well. Should not have happened. At this point, CTs might as well save. Mula gets another pick. AMG has got no choice. He's got to save. He's got to bring that AK deck into the next round. Or uh, AUG into the next round. He's got no choice. 3400 can only do you so much for each round. Especially on the last round as well. I mean, what can they do here?
You Ottawa makes showing a really aggressive side. Really strong and composed. Playing a lot of picks, playing a lot of trades. Potentially abusing CT's lack of aggressive or, uh, aggression. Or lack of map presence even. Barley with an early pick on Vok. M talks with two picks on B. B side's open now. What can he do? B's completely free. Which gets two picks at the end of the run. I mean, there's not much he can do at this point. Moon like comes around the flank, takes, takes Wisp of scoreline 12 to 3. Very strong side from the U Ottawa mix. Not so much for Pru. They gotta figure out what they need to do to make things work, especially on CT where they have to take map aggression. Most of the rounds that we've watched so far, they barely taken any map aggression. The one or two rounds they did, they ended up getting really good trades and just end up falling off. Or simply not doing anything at all. Alright, as CTs, you gotta, at least, you gotta take control of one side of the map. You gotta double nade, double, the double molly, double banana, anything that you gotta do to take banana control. Or at least any part of the map. Well, now that the teams are switched on halftime, maybe we can expect a pretty fast play from uh, Peru here. Maybe they'll adopt the same play style as you Ottawa, playing fast, taking map control early as T's, not being afraid to push. But perhaps you Ottawa is also aware of this, and maybe they'll play or they'll counter into that strat. Spark opting to go for the duelies here. The BM buy. Peru, all five T's coming up all mid. Looks like they want to do an A split here. First contact into A halls. Backs off. Here comes the, here comes the split. Fill out with the first opening pick. T's very slow to get up on site. They gotta push if they want to take have any chance of winning this round. AMG gets one, Vok gets one as well. Vok can get another, he does get another one. M Tux does trade out, AMG gets another frag. 1v1 situation now. AMG opting to just go around. Very tight round here, let's see who can win this. Muna not expecting him to cross. MG repositions back into construction. Hoping to beat him out. Knows he doesn't have a kit perhaps. Not moving. Moonlight with the one tap. <laughs> That's a round that he should not have won there in my books. It's gonna be close. And he gets the fuse. No way. MG played the round perfectly too. Waited, knew he would have got off of, uh, the bomb as soon as he tapped on it. And still somehow Moonlight comes around nowhere and still one taps him and wins the round with a full 10 second defuse. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. TSU with a f heavy banana push. This is the aggression that I was talking about. T-sides, they gotta come out fast and all together. That's the only way to shove sites nowadays. 
Especially when you're down 10 rounds, you have to make something work. Two v three retake now. Kirk gets one. Barlow get or Barlow gets one. And she does get the frag onto Barlow here. Bar I mean, any round at this point will be a momentum to give them momentum, right? With that fast team push there, I mean, again, going back onto Inferno, it's. If you don't do something as a team, it's very hard to take a site, especially if you give up map control. With a full five man execute here, you don't have to be afraid of someone not being able to trade. You are playing an interesting double haul here, playing very close. Gets one. Somehow, AMG does not get the frag on both of them. <laughs> it looks like Peru has opted to do a heavy t B take here. Perhaps maybe sending a fake out, a couple of smokes out A, just as a fake, and then fully rushing B. Alright, it looks like at the 30 second Martiz are going to be bunching up together onto B side here. Coming up with a CT cells. Get, Whisk gets a pick onto Moonlight. Spark gets a trade onto Kirk. 3v3 retake now. AMG does get the trade back onto Spark. CT is now boosting up. Hoping to catch AMG off guard. Tuxter pushes a bit too early. Mo does get the trade here. Both players very lit. Let's see what happens next. Was playing it smart here. Up here, just completely giving up B here as uh, CT is re relying on his A stack instead. T's here again, even knowing that they're on an eco, they're gonna play real slow here, not giving any guns towards you know, if uh, I got with a pistol. So, who's holes here? Vok going for that early info play here. T seemed to realize there's an A stack. Four guys going back B into from Banana into B now. It looks like what Vok tried to do here has worked. It has kept the CTs on A side while T seem a bit too hesitant to push into B some, for some reason. Again, maybe afraid of a B stack here, but although Vok has gotten the info, and now they have a free B site. Oh, that they still have not gotten the bomb down. Maybe scared of a potential backstab from the pistols? I don't know. CTs here shouldn't really push into them. They could probably put exit stairs rather than giving them money, which is exactly what they're opting to do here. Right, playing trades instead, not giving them any more money than they should even deserve. 
full five men stuck on the siege spawn. Let's see if Valkyrie will expect this. Gets one. Gets two. Gets three. Oh, that's not. Gets taken out by Mo. T's are now on the hunt. But Mo takes up Kirk. Grabs himself and. Oh, no, he does not. Where did the Aker go? Teaser. Very late. Actually, they're doing the. UR was now doing the exact same thing that Peru was doing when they were playing CT. Basically, now not even opting for any aggression anywhere in the map. They're just letting pretty much Peru take everything for free. Mo gets one, on lane at least. Looks like the action should be coming towards B side. Let's see here. Peru opting to just play angles and just hold. Doesn't seem like they want to over regress here. Looks like Peru are opting to play a much more slower play style than most teams would as T here. It looks like I'm presuming they're waiting for a CT to overextend here, over peak, get that pick, and then burst on the site. He's still holding, perhaps trying to get CTs to over rotate here. And Tuxer gets one kill. And here comes the T's. Spark gets another. Moonlight with the double pick here. And very nice trades. Good setup, good crossfire and B here. You wanna cast? Yeah, you want to cast? I'm casting, dude. Okay, one for Bro, I don't. Yep. Hey, he's casting. Thank God. I have a co caster. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, T's in a 5 on 5 situation. Looking like a B take here. Good? All right, sick. Looking like a heavy B take. I can't observe. I gotta, like. Now I'm the one observing, bro. You're observing? Okay, well, you're watching the guy. Oh. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're right. All right, Mo, push mid. Takes down two of the T's. Looks like the T's gonna be going for a mid take towards A. Only Moonlight at A playing Moto. Oh, drops one on the T side lane. Tucks a good use of that Molly to delay that push. Delays it just enough so that his teammate can come into site. Gets, gets another pick. pick. Oh. AMG in the 1v3 up lane. Getting flanked from Boiler. Drops the guy in pit. And that's the round. 6 15 6. You Ottawa. I mean, looking at this, man, U Auto has been playing very aggressive at times, but once they start losing that momentum, they start playing behind. They, they don't take map aggression. They don't do any aggression on this map. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. You, yes, Mario. Hello. How are you casting? Yes, I'm casting. Oh. Do you want to cast too, man? Mario, come sure. cast. Let's see what the all time <laughs> hold B guy says, or hold W guy says. Yeah, yeah. T's are opting for a fast push into mid now. Co-casters, you have relieved me, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this game is going to be wrapping up shortly. 15-6, T-side already down a player. You don't, you don't understand how soothing your voice is, eh? AM, yeah, Mario's got a nice soothing voice. Oh, a MG Wisp. T have a sight. 
Three, four retake here. Fuck, gets a kill nice mid. Shot. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot, yeah, best commentating, <laughs> dude. Nice shot. <laughs> that was a uh, nice one, dude. You are, you, you Ottawa is now opting to just save rather than just take any fights. Smart decision smart here. Smart play, smart. That's the, they can <laughs> slack a sight going into the next round. Yo, bro, he's your teammate. How do you deal with his monotone? <laughs> Listen, man, he makes his calls and it counts. It's okay. I just shoot. I just shoot. Yeah, he doesn't call. He just shoots heads, and that's all that matters. He doesn't need to say much. Oh, fuck! It's a kills on Barley, though. All right, match point. They carry an up over to the next one. I, I think they should just force up here. I don't think they should they save should at all. They should stack. Leave that up at B, and stack for A. I think so too. But oh. he has to aggro. Oh, they're oh, opting what? for a double up by here. What the hell is this? They want to play aggressive here. I, I'm not they too sure why Spark didn't drop another gun. He has four thousand dollars. He could have dropped another gun. Looks all the actions gonna come on to B. They're that confident in this fight. T is going for a quick banana take here. Yeah. Molly's out. The guy runs through the T. Molly, interesting. Runs through the T. Molly here. It comes a smoke exec on B. Over. Looks like this will be the final play here. Do a die push. Smoke spawns. T's going in. No flash. Oh, Molly, nice the second orange nice is gonna get nice him play. out. And other CTs nowhere to trade. Ah. And they should save here. They should. Not they even should. They should here. definitely save. They should. They should. Oh. Peru pulling back into this one. Oh my God! Another cold caster. Thank God. I got you, boys. Do a lot of this stuff. We have Raul Trill Hoyos standing beside <laughs> us. What do you have to say, sir? Legend. about this match? You Ottawa should just opt to save it. They should ch carry these guns over, not force or not huh? give up any of these ops to these T's. Uh, we want to know why the stream is so laggy? Question mark. Uh, we're working on that. They're working on it. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> that you can blame OK Dilla. <laughs> He's going four and twenty, so maybe his PC is uh, have some problems. <laughs> oh boy! He's smoking up. Hopefully he doesn't watch the vod, because I'm not trying to fight. <laughs> yeah, look at his picture. Is look at these Samurai. guys. Yeah, He's got guns in his picture. It's kind of scary. Imagine having a karambit but not being able to frag. Oh shoot! CT is just avoiding banana control. Only playing one B. Fuck shit to me. I have a karambit. No, you frag though. <laughs> I was, you were supposed to get us karambits. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't know frag me. <laughs> I, I, if you don't frag me, you get one, but you didn't know frag me. I, I bought a frag, so. Moonlight trolling us here. I don't know why Whoa, they're still guy's cheating. opted to stack B here, or Who's stack Moonlight? A. It doesn't seem like they want to push B, though. I mean, A could be the right call. I don't know why they don't have the op of B. He's looking at him Good through question. the wall. Yeah, is he walling? Yeah. That second orange is Molly, just really fucking him up every time. Oh, can I? I sorry. You I probably know. shouldn't swear. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah man. Friendly, friendly, bro. Friendly, friendly. Oh, my bad. It's like <laughs> ninja, like, uh, streams. Oh, it looks like the action is about to come on to A. Guard. Actually, hang on. Oh. They this might walk into a lane. Hang on. Running into the stack. Oh, oh it's gone, though. It's one. Taken out from apps. No one's watching apps. Oh, nice. Lock, taking How does you? What? And their oh, A stack just falls apart. Whoa. One takes medium screen. What kind of name is that? Mo takes medium screen. Farza, that's Farza. Oh. AMG gets the pick. And Peru putting another round on the board. What a comeback by Peru. What a great yeah. round by Peru. Oh, so okay. Okay. Question, are they all Peruvian? CT is finally on a buy round. Maybe okay. they'll do something here. Are okay, they, play are they still playing from kills, Peru? Though. Is the ping the problem here? <laughs> 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 I, I think CTs here should play a bit more aggressive. They've been giving up too many rounds by just backing off every single time so far. How did the half finish? Uh, you uh, was up 12-3. It was 15 one 12-3, yeah. It was 12-3. Yeah. I'm just kind of wondering, like, if, is AMG not from Peru? Why does he not have the same picture? Exactly. He's got the Weeaboo exactly. picture. <laughs> I don't really understand. You gotta watch those words around here, man. <laughs> some, some, <laughs> people, <laughs> some, some people zone. do take it to heart. There. I believe that's the game. I just heard a scream in the background. Hey, 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 don't move for the viewers. And there it is. Don't ruin it for the viewers. There it is. Oh, oh I mean, you cut it anyway. Oh, so it says it's half time. That is all no, over. 